Hey Kids Life, welcome back to our series, Subscribe Now. Wouldn't it be great if you could get to know all of the people behind your favorite YouTube channels? You know what I mean by subscribing to a channel, right? But we can't connect with people just by subscribing to their YouTube channel. Real connection and relationship takes way more effort than that. We have to follow and learn from the people that we want to know. In this series, we're going to learn all about how to have a relationship with God. As humans, we have a deep need for belonging and true love and connection. The Gospels, the story of Jesus' life and death on earth, show us that we need a relationship with Jesus. Jesus is the only one that can give us true love and connection, and he asks us to follow him. The message of Jesus is so powerful, and it's something that we can subscribe to. Kids Life, let's go over our memory verse, John 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through me. Okay, Kids Life, you know what time it is. It's time for Grow TV. Oh, come on! Carl, what is, what's going on? Not now, Andy. What is happening? Not now. Okay, well, welcome to Grow TV, everybody. Just, I can't do this without you. <sighs> Subscribe. <laughs> welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Um, so, Carl, I feel like yeah, I got a feeling something's going on. You want to just you want to talk about it? Care to share at all? Well, if you have to know, I'm not gaining any followers. Followers? Yeah, followers. You know I have a YouTube channel, right? I think I heard something about that, yeah. Well, over the past few years, I've gained over 50,000 followers on my YouTube channel. And every day, I get a few more followers. But today, I haven't gotten any. It's really weird. Right, I mean, I don't know what to do. Did I say something? Are people getting tired of me? Well, I'm sure there's actually a pretty reasonable or simple um, you know, explanation for all this. Did you? Happen to like change like any like settings, like maybe privacy settings or anything? The what? Privacy settings. If you accidentally you touch one of them or mess with one of them, then it would make it so only you see the videos and not the rest of your followers. No, of course I didn't. I'm an amateur. What if my followers don't want to watch me anymore? What if this is it? I'll have to quit YouTube, change my name to something like Keith or Tobias, and become a manager of a Cinnabon in Omaha. Actually, it doesn't sound too bad. Really doesn't. <laughs> but you get what I mean. Oh man, this is awful. Just awful. 100%. What'd you do? I changed your privacy settings. See, you had it on private, so that means only one person could see it. You. But now, and it's on public, so now all of your followers can see, and now new people can subscribe. Holy cow! People are liking and subscribing now! Thanks, Andy. Now I'm gonna get more followers. Sorry I didn't trust you with the whole privacy setting. No worries. It did make me feel kind of like we were in the whole Jesus and Simon Peter situation. The one with the rooster? No, the one where Jesus calls him and Andrew to follow him. I know I've heard it, but for some reason my memory is a little fuzzy. How'd that go again? Well, there was this time that Jesus was going around teaching and a lot of people gathered around him. Then Jesus got into a boat. Simon Peter's boat, right? You got it. Jesus asked Simon Peter that if he could push out the boat just a little bit further, Jesus sat down and he continued to teach. That's pretty cool. So is Peter a fisherman? Yep, sure was, him and his brother, Andrew. Cool! I love fishing. So after Jesus was done teaching, he told Peter to throw the nets back in the water. But Peter told him that he'd been fishing all day long and they'd still caught nothing. I mean, yeah, I know Jesus is Jesus, but Peter and Andrew, they're like professional fishermen. They know what they're talking about. Yeah, usually, but Peter listened to Jesus anyway, threw the nets back in the water, and guess what happened? Did they catch a fish? Nope. I guess they didn't know what they were doing. No, they caught hundreds. Excuse me? hundreds of fish, maybe even thousands. It was so much fish that it literally was about to tear the nets. They had to bring over another boat just so they can help them. Wow, what a miracle. But to go back to what got us on this story in the first place, why do you think this was similar to our situation with the YouTube channel? Well, Jesus told Peter to do something that Peter didn't think would work. I told you that you might have changed your privacy settings accidentally, but you didn't believe me, right? Hmm. I guess that's true. I guess I should just trust more. How did Peter react when they caught the fish? Well, Peter realized who Jesus really was, and he worshipped him. And Peter and Andrew decided to follow Jesus and become his disciples. Whoa! 
So just like I have people on my YouTube who follow me, Jesus had real actual followers. He sure did. He called Peter and Andrew to come follow them. And they reacted by dropping their nets and following Jesus. They left their old life behind and they committed their new life to Jesus. Wow, that's actually really cool. It's kind of a bummer that Jesus only had 12 disciples because it would have been really cool to be one. Well, Carl, just like Jesus asked Peter and Andrew to become followers, he's asking us to do the exact same thing. But I'm not a fisherman like Peter or Andrew. And that's okay. Jesus wants fishermen to follow him and farmers and cobblers and astronauts and teachers and, and everyone. Jesus wants us to follow him. You said cobbler like a pie? No, they make shoes. Mm, I don't think so. Pies don't have hands. Pies can't make a shoe. I think you missed you miss that I just said our big idea. I don't think so. Yeah, Jesus um, wants us to follow him. Well, cobblers don't have hands. Let me check cobblers something. Who oh, make, hold on, let me yeah, check something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's it. He just said our big idea. No way. <laughs> cobblers don't have hands. Today's big idea is cobblers don't have hands. They're pies. No, no, our big idea today is Jesus wants us to follow him. Oh, yes. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus wants, wants us to follow him. him. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> you okay? You need <coughs> Speaking of fishing, do you know what the most expensive fish out there is? No, I don't think I do. The goldfish. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you call fish with no eyes? What? That was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> you can laugh, Andy. Don't act so fishticated. <laughs> fish. These are officially the worst. Hey, yo, salmon's getting in the spirit. Have a fantastic week, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. The phrase, follow me, seems like an easy request. But in today's Bible story, Simon Peter didn't know that his whole life would change with those two words. Simon Peter and his brother, Andrew, were experienced fishermen. But one day, they couldn't catch any fish. No fish. No fish. So Jesus got into the boat with Simon Peter and Andrew and told them to go to deeper water and cast their nets onto the other side. Has this ever happened to you, Grace? Where like something isn't working and someone tries to tell you to do something that you already tried? Yeah. That's something that happened to me a lot. And I'm going to be honest, I get really frustrated because I just want to do things my way. Simon Peter told Jesus that he already tried that, but he would try again. And when he did, a miracle happened. They caught so many fish, they had to ask for help from a nearby boat, and both boats began to sink. Peter knew that this was impossible. Only the one who controls the seas can make something like this happen. And who could that be? That's right, God. What would you do if Jesus performed a miracle like this right in front of your eyes? Do you think that you would drop everything and just do what he says? Maybe. This is exactly what Simon Peter did. When Jesus said, come and follow me, I will make you fishers of people, Peter and Andrew dropped everything and followed Jesus. They probably had no idea what fishers of people even meant. All they knew is that Jesus was someone worth following and they were prepared and willing to give up everything in their life to follow him. Simon and Andrew remind us that life doesn't always make sense and we won't always know why or how things happen, but Jesus wants us to trust him as we step out and follow him. Hey, Kids Life, that's our big idea. Jesus wants us to follow him. No way. Well, this has been great. Kids Life, we will see you next week. <laughs>